You the teacher's aide? No, I'm the teacher. I saw this video on Pornhub, and this is exactly how it starts. <laughs> Misogyny, how refreshing. You can work in a Pocahontas joke to hit the trifecta. Now you mention it. What's your name? Trent. Can you tell me the definition of power, Trent? Hmm? It's the ability to direct or influence another's behavior or course of events. That's what I have. I can remove you from this class and fail you. Or I can send you before the dean for violating the student code of conduct. These are all things that can alter the course of your life. That's power. And you don't have any. <laughs> When Christopher Columbus first came in contact with Native Americans, it was the Arawak people in the Bahamas. I'll read to you from Columbus's journal. They willingly traded us everything they owned. They do not bear arms and do not know them, for I showed them a sword, took it by the edge, and cut themselves out of ignorance. They will make fine slaves. With 50 men, we could subjugate them all and make them do whatever we want. You ever feel like that, Trent? You ever feel like making someone do what you want, whether they want to or not? It's a very European mentality, stemming from the oppressive political and religious structures of the Renaissance. Kings and priests with absolute power ruling masses who have none. That was the mentality of the men who discovered America. And it's the mentality our society struggles with today. What you know of history is a dominant culture's justification for its actions. And I don't teach that. I'll teach you what happened. To my people and to yours. Because we're all the descendants of the subjugated. Every one of us. You did well. Were you nervous? Terrified. <laughs> so, um, that's new. What happened? I, uh, fell down. Excuse me? Miss, um... Long. Miss Long. I'm sorry. I wasn't... I didn't mean to. I was just... I know what you were doing. I'm sorry. Insult me or anyone else in my class and you're out. Apology accepted. Thank you. <laughs> 